Good morning, how are you? I hope you're well and I hope you're having a lovely start to a gorgeous day. Yeah, the sun is shining outside, the birds are singing and do you know what? The birds are right here. I'm not talking about myself, of course. I am a quirky bird though. Uh, we're talking about more quirky birds and some fantastic stamps that you can get your hands on. We were busy earlier on today. 60% of the stock has already gone. Look at that ostrich. I think it's an ostrich or it could be an emu. They could be any kind of bird you like and you can choose the colours. All you have to do is stamp them out and start to enjoy but you do need to get them home first. So those are your details on the screen. 251184 is your item number four your set of stamps saving £10. Now I'm not alone, I'm joined by Julia live on Skype from Inverness, is it Julia? Good morning. Good morning, yes, from Inverness. <laughs> oh I like your background, that's very clever. Thank you. <laughs> um, <fancy> I... <laughs> now Julia, earlier on today when we went live on the show you noticed the price for the stamps that we've got available today and you were quite surprised weren't you yeah i'll let you into a little secret go on don't tell anyone i made a mistake <laughs> did you a good mistake yeah. or a mistake well, which is good or bad mistake for you guys really so, no, yeah normally my stamp sets start at 36.96 that's normally the start point um so i've never done a bundle of four at 33.96 so that's a bit of a bargain for you, bonus. It's, it certainly is. You probably won't be doing one again either. Wow. I would definitely take advantage of that admission and pop these <laughs> into your basket. But aren't they absolutely fantastic? I really love the design of these, Julia. You've done a really good job. Thank you. Yes, I do love the quirky birds. So I've always drawn birds, even when I was at school and actually taking art. It was quite often my subject of choice. Um, but obviously I've sort of moved from realism <laughs> into like quirky and I think, I don't know, they're full of character, aren't they? They're just fun, make you smile. Yeah, they are certainly full of character. And of course, along with the birds, you also get the extra stamps in the set. So you've got sassy but classy with the love heart, the separate frame. And then you've got that fabulous, it is, it is an ostrich, isn't it? Or is it an emu? So. Yeah, yeah, either. <laughs> I can't remember. It was just, yeah, just it's a, a bird. It's she's, a... she's got mascara on, she's all dressed up, ready to go out. Oh, she's fantastic. She is fantastic. <laughs> uh, another fabulous stamp set. And we say stamp set because, of course, you've got your sentiment there, the love heart, and then you've got that really cool design that you could actually make into a border if you use that on repeat. Absolutely, a border, background. Um, I like to create little dangles and things like that, so it's perfect for perfect for that. And if you're into doodling like you are, uh, it could be a starting point. You pop that there and then you sort of doodle, doodle from it as well. Yeah, do you know what? That is a fantastic idea because sometimes we want to sit down and have a doodle, but we put too much pressure on ourselves to actually create something. Let me turn that around that way. Uh, so to have a stamp set like this, like you say, just to maybe even stamp the cloud and then to start doodling out from that, it's a wonderful way to start becoming artistic. Let me show you that one. Oh, that could be my favorite. You're amazing just the way you are. Oh, these are absolutely gorgeous, Julia. Now, if you want any individually, we'll put the details at the bottom of the screen. There might be one that you see and you think, do you know what, I just want that one. Then by all means, go for it at £10.99. But look at that. You're almost getting one for free if you go for the set of four, saving £10 and buy Julia's own admission. She's made a mistake with that price so quickly. In your basket, check them out um, and get that great deal today. 251184. We're now 65% of the stock gone. I think, Julia, with these, you can really unleash your creativity and your uh, ability as a, as a colourist. Absolutely. So if you love colouring, there's plenty of space to do all your shading and techniques. If you don't, um, there's plenty of space to doodle. We're actually going to do a demo later on where we're going to paper piece. So yeah, the world's your oyster and they're just fun. They're suitable for any age group, uh, male or female, any occasion. 
you can just really make them work for you. Yeah, you certainly can. And I love the fact that if you just wanted to stamp these out, maybe give them to younger members of the family, older members of the family, and they can use, use these like a, a colouring book, for example. Uh, it's a great price and we're busy for them already. So make sure you pop all four into your basket and check on out. Uh, right, we've got a set of two stamps for you. Um, and these were busy earlier on today as well. In fact, everything was. Uh, we've got that quirky look, but what I really like about these is being able to sit down, use them with your colours, but also I think they'd look absolutely fantastic if you were to use something like this, maybe in grayscale, black and white, Julia, because of the designs that you've got in yeah. there. Yeah, it would look great monochrome. Um, we may have had some samples at one point, but yeah, they're, they're, they're fantastic. And that umbrella stamp is, it's kind of like, it can sort of be coming down from a tree, it can be sort of growing up as a tulip, but you can chop it and manipulate it so it's an umbrella. So it's actually really versatile. And it just goes with any of the JMC ranges that you have. And um, they're just lovely, lovely accessories that will sort of build the collection that you currently have and take it into a new direction. Uh, let me just turn the actual stamp set upside down to show you because the umbrella, yes, it can be turned into a flower just like that. Uh, so that's very, very clever. I really, really like that. And if we just turn that the other way, it goes back into that umbrella. So a fantastic set of stamps with endless possibilities. £18.40. Let me show you the other one that we've got here just so you can see all of the stamps that you've got on there. Get this the right way for you. There you go. Uh, great price, saving £3.58, but £18.40 for your two A6 stamp bundles is an incredible deal. It really is. 196603 is your item number if you want to go for that those pop them into your basket now we've got some papers and stamps next Julia uh, and the papers they're they're new today but you've got lots of layers in the papers haven't you to start developing your pieces of artwork yes yeah, so it's a new bundle we've we've seen these before but the quirk because we've got um micro chirp I thought she matched really well with the birds um, and yeah so we've got this sort of steampunk range this is the butterflies this these two papers that's sort of more traditional steampunk colours. Um, but then we've got the bumblebee. The bumblebees is my favourite. Oh, um, look at that. It's a little bit different with regards to sort of your normal steampunk images. But I think it works because steampunk was sort of an era where people believed in the impossible. They dreamt big. They achieved their dreams. And, of course, bumblebees are the same. It sort of represents believing in the impossible. Yeah. So we've got a nice muted one there. So, if, But if you wanted to brighten it up, get your distress inks on there. Um, conversely, with the brighter ones like that, if that's not your taste, you could knock it back with, I don't know, some walnut stain or something like that with your distress ink. So you can still make them work for you. And uh, what we love about this as well is being able to make and create little gift tags, gift bags. Um, and this, I mean, that is a wonderful little sample there that you've got. And you've got those lovely elements. I think the stamps as well would really serve well if you're using shrink plastic because you could make and create some quirky characters out of them as well alongside your backing papers. Uh, 398405 is your item number, £26.97. That is for your 8x8 paper pad and your two A6 stamp sets as well, which go, of course, remarkably well with the papers and still have that steampunk style to them. Great deal, that is. 398405 is your item number. Right, Julia, we've got some demonstrations coming up. What are we going to see first? Um, we're going to do a journal page. I'll just get, we'll flick the camera around. Okay. Just for my husband to press yeah. buttons. <laughs> so we'll <laughs> we flick go. the camera around. Uh, fantastic. So we'll go to the overhead now. So here we go. That was very quick. Well done. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll, let's have a look. That's it. We've got a fancy set, system set up. I can't work it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to look at the frame stamp. We did sort of show this in the first hour but if you want to make sure that your frame stays nice and straight yes i would put it down first and then pick it up with your stamping block because otherwise you could slightly manipulate it so it's not straight conversely if you did if you wanted to have a more skew if say you were going to alice in wonderland and wanted a kind of more creative frame you can quite easily manipulate it so we've got um there we go so we can see yeah. although it's the one stamp you can really easily get lots of different looks from it. So I'm going to go back to stamping it straight. Sorry. I like that. It's <laughs> a great I idea. See that you can um, you can use it in multiple ways. 
and I'm just going to stamp it out just so you can see how beautifully these stamp out. They're a lovely thick photopolymer. Um, they're made in the UK, so but it's, I think it's nice to see how well they actually stamp, even though I'm a little bit prepped. So we've got that. And then that just stamps out like so. That is my fault. That's not the stamp's fault. I didn't put enough pressure because I was rushing. <laughs> I need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> it would look nice if you put a photo in that frame as well, you know, an actual photograph. Absolutely. Yeah, you could do you could do lots with it. So with these, what I've done is I've actually cut them out into oh, wow. little frames, which is really easy to do. Like that. Um, so if you just kind of put a nick in the middle, um, and then snip into the corners, like so. She says. Perfect. It's just to show that it's it's really easy to sort of, it's not too fiddly. And then once you've got that bit of leverage, you can get right in there and um, cut, cut round. So it's really easy to create that frame. So you would just keep going um, with that. Okay. So I've actually cut out three of these. Oops. And I'm going to create almost, you know, you buy these um, multi frames, yes. you know, these various shops and you buy, you know, these bargain shops, multi frames, and you have like the entire family all in one frame. So it's that sort of thing I'm going to go for, but I'm going to um, do it with the quirky birds. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue along there. They look really mm -hmm. effective in, in black and white. Yeah, they don't take much colouring to have an impact got lots of excess glue there. I would do that much more carefully in real life. In fact, if you have a look at the frame in the middle, what you've made and created there is one, two, three, four uh, little areas yes. that you could doodle into. You could. I mean, you could do it. The world's your oyster. And I'm, I'm sticking to three, but you could extend this much further. Um, but it's just that I want it to fit on my journal page, which I'm about to bring in. So I'm just going to snip out those middle bits. Which again, you could keep and use for other projects. Absolutely. I don't throw anything away. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous what I can make a card out of. Oh, that looks <laughs> fabulous. Look at that. And how easy was that to put together? I know. It's really fun, isn't it? Oh, so I'm going to pop that on my page. But first of all, I'm just going to put a little bit of stenciling down. Take out my well-loved stencils. See, they are absolutely filthy, but that kind of shows just how useful they are. <laughs> yeah, we do it's, have those. They're yeah, they're continu continually used and loved. <laughs> yeah, we'll put the details. You get a set of five. They're six by six, different designs, £24.95. pence. So I like to do this quite often when I'm starting a journal page or something. It just takes you a moment to get into the flow of things. So I think just slapping a bit of ink down through a stencil just sort of... It gets you into the wave. It's almost like a warm up. Like tennis players and that do their warm up before the match. It's almost like a bit of a warm up, and then you get serious crafting. <laughs> okay, so I've got this um, electric spirit. So although it's sort of named steampunk, it really doesn't have to be. It's not going to be a steampunk on this page. Um, it's I just for name's sake more than anything else. So yeah. you can identify it. I was going to say, I really like that stencil. It's, um, it's very cool. It reminds me of like a, an electric circuit. Yeah, it's been very popular, actually. I think it's been one of the most popular ones. And I've had a few people say it's sort of quickly become their favourite stencil ever. So um, I know lots of people love that. So we've just got that there now. And it's just created a little bit of interest in the background. And now I'm going to pop my frame onto my page. This is where I start singing to myself, and I'm going to try not to. Ooh, I what, didn't resist it what, at 7 o'clock. Yes, I mean, we, we'd have to pay if you did sing. But if you did sing, what song would you be singing this morning? <laughs> it's normally nothing. Of, it's normally just a, as my sis, my daughter says, oh, it's when uh, you can tell you're thinking, Mum. Because I just sit there and go, do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Although she started singing a song the other day. Don't know what. She started singing a song the other day. There was like, I know a song that'll get on your nerves and she kept singing it. And now, even when she's not in the house, I find myself going, I know a song. <laughs> <laughs> so it worked. It worked, yeah. Now it's in my head. It's not only on my nerves, it's in my head. Right, I'm going to take the stamp set from, this is Harold. So we've got the little sentiment. I'm getting myself in a right pickle here. 
You've got much less room at home than you do in the studio. I can't spread myself out quite this evening. Oh, <laughs> you're doing a fabulous job. So which sentiment are you going? There, though. It's like, so, mm. Oh, I know. So Harold is the... Is he a parrot Harold? or a toucan? Yeah, parrot or, you know, the blue the, the blue ones. What are they called? Uh, parrots. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Parakeys, parrots, uh, toucans. Um... I'm trying to think. I know the I know the bird I mean, but it's, I'm thinking of a, I'm thinking of a, a film. A, a blue a blue a blue McCoy is it? McCoy, blue McCoy. Thank That's you, Kirsty, floor manager. Yes, blue McCoy. Right. So now I've got that. I've stamped all of that in, and then I'm going to put our Harold who's gone from blue to pink. But that's the joy of it being a stamp. You know, you could just. Exactly. Be whatever you want it to be. Exactly. So we'll pop, we'll pop him there. And I'm going to pop our Royston up here. Royston, there he is. Royston. Yeah, I had a cousin. I have a cousin called Royston. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you feel about having this quirky bird named after him, like. But there you go. <laughs> is it lifelike? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so now I've got some of the flowers and what's really useful about um, these stamps is quite a lot of the sets have the foliage stamps in them as well and it's amazing how much a little bit of greenery can really lift your project. It's like, it's the same when you know you buy a bunch of flowers, quite often it's it's the little, you know, the greenery or the little, um, the little yes. white things, what are they called? Baby's breath, what a name. That's yeah, and it's it's amazing how those little bits, those little fillers, really just lift it from. Yeah, they do. It's the same. It's the same, you know, principle with your stamps. So we're just going to glue all this down, and then I think in the Harold stamp set is where we've got our clouds. I'm obsessed by clouds. Oh yeah. I like a. I do like a good cloud stamp. In the past. You know, when I was a crafter before I became a designer, I would just quite often buy a stamp set just for the cloud stamps. Really? <laughs> Clouds are fascinating though, aren't they? Yeah. And even though they're really easy to draw, I just like having them as a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I think it's one of those things that just sort of um, finishes things off. I think I really enjoy scene building when it comes to crafting. Yeah. So having these little bits just helps me to build my scene. And then all I would do now is grab my pen and very, very loosely scribble a line. You can see I'm holding my pen quite far back. Yeah. I'm not trying to be accurate. I think if you go for, per for perfection, that's when it starts looking wrong. But yeah. if you just let loose and Love just that. let it... And it's, it frames it. This is the same as when you take a photograph and you stick it in a frame and it looks 10 times better. But it's because you're telling the brain where to look, you're yes. giving it an edge. So the eye's sort of bouncing around within the frame. So it's seeing your work rather than going away from it. Love that. So. And that cloud by Royston, well, that could be that little cloud at his side. Well, it could be. It could be like a, like a puff of smoke, like he's just yeah. about to race somewhere. Yeah. And I think Roy, I've covered it up now, but he's got the little speed marks just behind there. So oh, yeah. Yeah, it could be like the little speedy bird flying like, past the clouds. Like a, <laughs> like a road runner. Yeah. That's it. So that's that one there, all done. I like that. That is excellent. I love what a great demonstration. And I love Thank the idea you. of the frames coming together because you can use those frames, of course, with all kinds of different uh, pieces of artwork and your own photos at home as well and your own journals. And uh, also mix up your stamp set so we can use the frame we've got there with the different stamps in the set, which looks amazing and look great when you colour them in the stripes. They're fun and they're quirky and they come in a set of four. 251184 is your item number, but 70% of the stock of the set of four has now gone. Now, it kind of, well, it does, it works out that you're not actually paying for one. And we've got them at a great price as well by Julia's own admission. She got the price wrong. So take advantage of that and get them into your basket and check on out. Aren't they lovely? Look at that one. 
that could be a Mrs. and Mrs. card, a Mr. and Mr. card, or what's the other one? Oh yeah, Mr. and Mrs. card. Um, lovely, aren't they? And you could add lots of colour and embellish your styles. Use them with uh, shrink plastic. That would be amazing because you could have all those little characters then. Uh, shrink plastic as a set of earrings, a necklace, or you could have them little charms, for example, or, or decorations to put on your pencils. I just absolutely adore them. And you do as well because we're very, very busy. Now, you can buy them individually if you want to, and we'll bring the details up on the screen for them. But the lovely lashes, Edna, oh, the emu has sold out individually. So lovely lashes, Edna, she's gone. Harold, Harold is limited stock. I think, yes, there's Harold, he's limited stock. So don't forget every now and again to just be silly. I think that would be one for me. I think we've all got to be a little silly sometimes. Um, so have a look at them individually if you want them individually, but we are busy. The best way to buy them, of course, is in the set of four where you are saving, saving, saving. And there they are. There's the gang all together. Love them. Love them. You have so much fun when you get those home. Uh, right. If you do want them in that set of four, it's best to get your baskets che checked out so uh, that you do get what you want. It's important. Now, something else we've got on the show is your A4 paper pad. Love these. Look at the colours. There's lots of colour around at the moment. You know, spring is here. Uh, we're heading towards the summer. I know spring has only just begun, but you know, flowers are coming out, blossoms are coming out. So we're thinking about colour. And these have a whole plethora of colours exploding in their designs. £11.99, pence, A4 paper pad, delightfully dotty. Gorgeous designs in here. And you could use these, of course, for your journaling. You could use these for your piece of artwork, your scrapbooking, but you can also cut out different elements in there as well. So there's lots and lots to have a look at. You get 25 sheets, there's five designs, five of each. Look at that. So lots of different areas that you could just, you could just cut out the circles if you want to. You could have that bit on your um, MDF projects as well. Don't forget that if you are decorating any boxes or storage, for example, these papers would look excellent on there. You could also use them in your die cutting machines if you want to. They'll take all your different mediums. I love that with the ombre effect in your rainbow. And then you've got the soft focus. There is a word for that, but I forgot it. Um, and who? Diffused? Oh, it's diffused. So it's, like, it's like the spotlight effect in photography. Um, you've got your butterflies there and the trellis in the background. Is it bo bocket? Brocket? Something like that. Um, and then you've got your uh, clouds in there. Remember, Julia loves her clouds, and you do as well. So that could be a whole scene, like down in the uh, meadow, for example, looking up at the sky. Oh, and then that's it. So those are your five designs, and you're getting 25 sheets in total. Uh, excellent value for money, 341240 is your item number love those they'd go brilliantly with your stencils and your stamps on the show talking of stencils uh, if you do want to go for your stencils here they are a set of five for you including where is it this one here uh, which a lot of people say is their favorite stencil ever i know um, these are great though because you've got lots of different designs lots of different ways of using these and lots of different elements within your stencils use them with your texture paste use them with your inks, use them to doodle with as well if you want to, uh, but you've got a lot of images to play with. 163461, don't just think of one stencil as one image, have a look at that stencil and start to look at the different images in there. So you've got a windmill in there, you've got your separate um, little shapes going around the cogs, for example, or you can use it in its entirety. So you can have a lot of fun with those when you get them home. They're just £24.95, uh, six by six in size. You're getting all five of them for that. Great deal, 163461. Now we do have cues on the phones, but we will get through your calls. Of course we will. Uh, the girls and guys are working very, very hard in the call center and from home. Some of them still working from home, so they're getting through your calls. Um, and the best way to order would be the website if you want to do it expediently. Um, right, let's head back to Julia now and in Vanessa via Skype. What are we going to have a look at now, Julia? 
Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of um, paper piecing because I'm constantly asked, um, do you need to be good at colouring to use these stamps? So we're going to answer that with this demo. And uh, because I love my colouring, <laughs> it's it's maybe easy for people to say, well, you know, yeah, but you can colour. Um, so it's, it's showing that you can use this whether you like colouring or not. So I've got the one of the papers from the Delightfully Dotty paper pad. And then we can just stamp our Harold onto a piece. Now, to be honest, in, in real life, I would probably be doing this technique mostly with, you know, all the scraps and bits of papers that you've got left. Yes. And there you go. We'd maybe, I'd maybe give him an eye so that he doesn't look quite so random. So that's maybe the touch that I would do. But it means that we've got a coloured... Yeah, um, I like that. not had to do any colouring whatsoever. That's a good idea. Um, but then... Years and years ago, decoupage used to be really popular. And of course, you can create that sort of look with your stamp. So what I've done here is I have got Harold. Now, so that's in full. Yeah. And I've, if you always see what's behind, so the next layer you would cut out, but I didn't cut out, I cut off those bits. Okay. So we've got that. And then, then we've got... Would you put uh, foam pads oh. underneath to build it up? You can do. Yeah. I'm going to see a different way, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, traditionally, it is with foam pads. Yeah. I'm scanning to see what I've done with my blending mat. Um, I think my husband's been overly efficient. And uh, so it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll use the stamp block. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Right. So what I would do as well when I do this is I like to still make sure that I've got like shades and tones because it does help to build dimension. So I would just sort of grab a little bit of extra ink and just go around the edges. And um, you don't have to, but I quite like to do that and I would give it extra dimension. Now, as you said, if you put it with 3D foam, you can do that. I'll get a piece for you now. Um, you can do that, but it turns out quite um I get that I'm going off piece here now okay so if I if I was to do it with just 3d foam you would you would get that raised effect but the raised effect is quite flat got you I'm just going to bring this down because I've noticed that I'm at the top of the screen there we go sorry um but if I was to shape it so if I just grab it a little bit with um, my fingers and just um shape that I now get a lot more dimension to that and then I would use um here I'm using like a gel glue and um, I also really like to do this with you know like your gel mediums yeah. and stuff like that so the reason I, I prefer doing it with this than with 3d foam is it gives me an element of flex um and the ability to shape a little bit and oop Oh, I'm making a pig's ear of this, aren't I? That's all right. And then, <laughs> then I would put a tiny bit of glue just down the edges. And by doing that, it means I can hold that flat I see. to the edge. And then I can get a curved shape for the rest of it. And personally, I i mean, each to their own, so I'm not knocking it. But um, I think you get a more natural shape doing it that way. So again, if I curve, then I would just pop that and a little bit at the top. That's a good idea. Like, and so I'm building that up, but we're actually getting the shape of a bird rather than just a flat shape. And then, you know, I would pop my eye on. But obviously gel media, the gel medium glue takes a little moment to dry. Yes. But thankfully, I've made about 600 of these little guys. Oops. <laughs> That's fantastic. There we go. That's one all, all, um, drawn up and then the same tips and techniques that i would use if i was coloring so if i had i colored this with my markers i would then be getting my white gel pen in and finding highlights and you can still do that even though we've paper pieced still use the same techniques that you like across the board and you'll find that that just lifts it a little bit these would look really cool if you made them into fridge magnets yeah that would be good wouldn't it yeah. you have all of and move them about and make yeah, little scenes. That would be good. So at the bottom of this paper, we have all these flowers. Yeah. 
so I have just fussy cut them out and I think that's what I like to do when I'm designing a paper pad well I know what I do when I buy a paper pad the very first thing I look at is what can I chop out what can I chop up um, and make my own and so we've got the ability to do that here so I've just popped to get a few of these flowers and I'm just going to pop these together we'll stick that down it's a good I'm idea a it's a good idea uh, Julia to cut out the different elements in the paper pad because it means it just goes so much further absolutely and then so, so this is what I would do if I would sit there and cut out the flowers and then I'd be left with this top bit um, and then that's when I think this morning I made a like a bird cage. That's where a bird house. That's where I would do that. Or the, with all the little bits of scraps, I would start doing the paper piecing. With you know that you get these funny bits of scraps, and it's like, well, what am I going to do with that? Yeah. So you can use your die cuts and things, obviously, but it's just another way of sort of being able to use all the little elements oh. that we've got. So I'm going to stick our Harold down. I will neaten up this down below, but I sort of want a few flowers behind him and a few flowers in front of him just to just to mix it up a little bit. So when I start doing this, I sort of start seeing, oh, there's a gap there. I'm not happy with the gap there. So now I'll take one of my fussy cut flowers. The other thing that you can do with these, if you want to give them a bit more dimension, what I would do is just cut right into the center. So, so continue your cutting. But take it into the center and that just gives you a little bit more wiggle room to create dimension now you can just really easily just pinch the center and roll with your fingers and now all of a sudden we've got a dimensional flower as well oh, i love that and sometimes some people um mist their paper don't they to make it more malleable yeah you can do um i sometimes do that if you just sort of spray it at the back um, and what you do tend to find if you do that and then sort of maybe get the shape you want and then heat set it with your heat gun it goes really really crunchy and it's actually really really robust as well you can hardly believe it's paper by the yeah. time you finish oh that looks fantastic so with the um umbrella stamp the umbrella flower um, so we've done the exact same thing out of the exact same piece of paper. I've just used a bit of um, yellow gel pen just to highlight those dots. And I've, again, raised it a little bit to create a little bit of dimension. And I'm just going to pop. Actually, I'm going to stick a... I'm getting carried away. I'm getting no, too excited. It's br I love watching the designs come Thank together. You. And Harold, so. I must say, has sold out individually. The only way to get Harold now is in the complete set of four where you make an incredible saving. It's a superb deal. Um, yes. And you get all four of the stamps. So Harold has sold out individually. Um, and that is, there you go, there's Harold. He's sold out individually. So he's gone. Um, oh, yes, I guess, I, no, I'm not going to take him away because you can get him in the full set. And we'll bring the details up. So the first two, you can only get now in that whole complete set. And why wouldn't you want to go for that? £33.96, 251184 is your item number. If you know someone else in the family that might want the set of four, well, if you were to buy two sets today, it will take you over that £60 threshold. So you could open a flexi basket and only spend £33.96 today, but get two sets, if that makes sense. Because you might know somebody that, that these are going to be absolutely perfect for along with yourself. So just to let you know that we do do, we do do uh, a flexi buy, a flexi buy here on Hochanda. There you go. Um, and then we'll go back to Julia because, yeah, I said do do. <laughs> time to move on, is it? Yeah, good yes. time to get this set, set today because it'll not be coming back at this price. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is fabulous. And do you so, know, do you know when a when a parrot gets a birthday cake, how many pieces he cuts it into? Oh, I hate to think. <laughs> pieces of eight. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it didn't really work, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so again, I've used the foliage just to lift it, and then what I would do, I'll, I'll. It looks a bit strange up here. What I would do is probably. Oh, I've done a tenfold card. That was quite by accident. Well done. <laughs> 
So I would cut it off there so it's nice and neat, but yeah. I quite like it sort of overhanging the edges. You just stick it in a bigger envelope. Right, then I'm going to grab the Royston stamp set now, and we've got this sentiment, you're amazing, just the way you are. Oh, I know. There's a song in there somewhere, Julia. I would say so. We best not start singing it the way. No. <laughs> might end up in trouble <laughs> nothing new there for me yeah right so we'll pop that down and i'm just because i'm stamping directly onto my card i've only got brave enough to do this recently and okay. that's because i've learned that you have to allow time for the ink to go to the paper quite yeah. often if you're not stamping right it's just because you're rushing it a little bit yeah but if you just you know if you think of the logistics the ink is sat on the stamp you want it on the paper you just need to give it time to do its thing that's brilliant. and then I would do the exact same that I did on the journal page as I would do this, but was it Flo, the stamp set Flo? She's got a little hand-drawn doodle that I've basically just done like this and yes. then added a few extra elements to it. But I do think this helps to frame your work and draw the eye in. I would try giving it, you know, try doing a line doodle, see how you get on. Um, but if you really don't want to, there is a stamp option available to you as well. And then that's it all done there so no colouring on that whatsoever love and that yes, all compact. and do you know what i really like the, the the white space in the background as well because it makes the colours pop mm -hmm. yeah love that very good very very good right if you want the complete set of four which is the only way that you're going to get um flow and not royston Edna and Harold, the only way you're going to get those two right there is in the complete set. It's a great price. You're saving £10. That's like you're getting one for free in the set of four. £33.96. They are fun. They are quirky. You're going to have a lot of fun with these stamps, whether you're using them with shrink plastic, in your journals, in your artwork, making cards, making gift tags, which are perfect for. They really, really are. Uh, making colouring books as well. Um, just stamp them out in black black or grey or sepia and then just hand them out and let people colour them in. I really like the frame that you've got with Eden there and you can use that with your pictures at home. And we saw that really cool demonstration of placing those frames together and making a larger frame by cutting out the middle part, which is brilliant. Look at that. And when you colour them in and you match them up and you put them together, you're just going to have so much fun with them as well. £33.96, 251184 is your item number for those. Right, let's head back to Julia uh, live on Skype. What we're going to see now, Julia? We're going to make a clean and simple card. I'm just going to hand that bunch of stamps there to my husband and say, can you find Flo for me, please? Right. Oh, Julia. Uh -huh. Julia, what's your husband's name? Because we just know him as your husband. Alistair. Alistair. Oh, thank you, Alistair, for helping. He's, he's a wee star. He stood here just to, because it's like, if anything was to go wrong with the technical stuff, I would be in a blind panic. Oh, um, so just, tech support. He's just sat here just in case. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you very much. Okay, so I'm going to, got this circle stencil again, great worker stamp the, uh, stencil this, I literally use it all the time, can't be a circle, I don't know what it is about circles but I just really do like them. <laughs> yeah, circles are nice, they're soothing. Yeah, well apparently it's like, it can mean completeness as well, can't it, because it never ends. I don't know why circles are soothing, it's, I guess it's like bubble bath, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just making it up now. Okay, so we have this and I'm going to use this um, gorgeous daisy flower. See, crafting in your own space, it's shocking because I'm losing things like I would if I was just crafting by myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've just got it and I've literally just put it down two seconds ago. Where have I put it? Okay, so I'm going to grab this gorgeous stamp. Now, to my own admission, these um, stamps have got these little twiddly bits here, which do make them a tad awkward to cut out. So I would either sort of snip around them and give them a bit of a white border, or you can do this. So I'm going to just stamp this down here. And again, following the same principle that I was just saying, making sure I've put pressure all over and then giving it a bit of time. I've gone a bit wrong there, but that's okay. And then I've created a mask. I use 
to make my mask, I just use plain copier paper, and it's better to use something like copier paper because it's nice and thin. Okay. Um, if you were to use some of your cardstock, you're going to end up creating a ridge, which when you start over stamping, that's maybe where you're going to get a little bit of a, a mess or an error. So um, cheap and cheerful, just use your cheap copier paper. And then I've just put repositional glue on the back. Um, so that's how I've that's how I've done that. I, yeah, I think you do sell like masking sheets yes yeah we do want you... to do like that you've got that as well yeah you can find those on on our website if you go and search for them i know our emma has some right now i'm using that um little doodle stamp that yep. comes in the flow stamp set and i'm just going to pop that down there so if you didn't have the mask, that would go all the way over your flower, wouldn't it? Yeah, which I don't particularly want it to. Although, to be honest, I'm about to cover it anyway. So, um, But it's good because it shows an extra technique. Yeah. So we're going to pop that there. And then I'm going... So I'm basically just going to create a frame in this corner. And as I said, we're going to go really clean and simple. Oh, that's a good this idea. particular card. Because, I mean, yeah, you can go full on... And I am sort of one of these more is more people. I keep shoving more layers onto things. Um, but occasionally it's good for me just to sort of pull it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've just got that. And then you can just see that just frames oh, that. Oh, that looks great. So what I've done is, as I said, we had all those twiddly bits, which were a bit awkward, but because I've already stamped it, yeah. I don't need to worry about it now. I can just cut out the flower, which is a really basic shape. But because I stamped it first, all that detail still there. Got you. So we've got that going on. Okay. So what, we'll what sort of flower is that, uh, Julia? I think it's a daisy. Yeah. It started like it's a daisy and then it acquired some polka dots along the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can't do anything normally. It's, no, it's nice to, to add a little quirkiness to it, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, so there we've got that. And then um, <laughs> the electric fuels one. Sorry, making a complete mess. I'm just grabbing a sentiment. I really <laughs> like that. I love that doodle stamp making the... Um, That's fine making that little framework it just works so yeah, i'm just going to pull this in because i seem to have like lost all my stamps there okay. so um, i've just from the electric fuel stamp set which is part of the um the micro chirp bundle yep we've got the um, sentiment here that says believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable and i've literally just stamped that sentiment just there okay we'll put the details for that set at the bottom of the screen if anybody wants to go for that three nine eight four oh five love that what a lovely card now i'm going to ask a question can we make and create and sell with of your course stamps you can. of course you can that's what i did so yeah it was always very important to me <laughs> to be allowed to do that so yeah as long as you're making it yourself yes um then absolutely perfect i think that's great i really do lots of people are making and creating and selling online now whether it be cards whether it be artwork for example you can buy yourself some little uh, plaques you can stamp onto them you can color them in put them in frames you could actually start your own business um, and how exciting is that going to be especially when you're going for the fabulous stamps that we've got for you on the show so just to remind you the set of four proving to be incredibly popular today it's the only way that you can get two of the stamps they've sold out individually 251184 is your item number three quarters of the stock has gone um, by Julia's own admission there is a mistake on that price it should be more so take advantage of that mistake I feel awful saying that but it's been it's done now so there you go uh, 33.96 saving 10 pounds so in essence you are getting one of those stamps uh, for free this is a great idea I just can it will shake a card in there Isn't that fabulous I really really like that and then how about adding some feathers oh very nice isn't that lovely or maybe stamping on repeat and there you go you've got three of the same images really lend themselves to fantastic color and um, just doodling little extra sentiments and doodling little um, items into the background I think you're gonna have so much fun 33 pounds and 96 pence 251184 uh, right Julia we've got about 12 minutes left what are we going to have a look at now I have absolutely no idea oh okay because 
That'll do. I I well, I've gone through all my prep demos, so now we're winging it. <laughs> well, winging it with the birds is a good thing. Yeah. So the way I work when I'm crafting is I will spend an evening stamping and colouring and cutting out. So I create these little, what I call them bit boxes. So in here I've got birds and flowers all coloured and cut up. And the same with my papers. You know you said you could cut out those little circles? Yeah. Um, see, I have actually done that. Yeah, that's a good so, idea. This is how I would craft at home. I would have my little bit box ready and I would just go with the phone. I'm just grabbing the circle stencil again, pretty much because it's the one that's to hand. I seem to have lost everything else. <laughs> I was so tidy and prepared when I started, but hey -ho. <laughs> It's always the way though, when you start crafting, everything's laid out and you're like, right, that's there, that's there, and my cup of tea's there. And then once you start, you just get involved in the moment and just everything goes everywhere. Yeah, so I think because I can't see a different stencil, I'm going to stick with um, the stencil, but let's put two different colours of ink on and that'll just create a bit of interest. So we'll do that. And then quite often, let me see, I do have a sheet of paper. Quite often, is, um, we, if your A4 page like this feels a little bit overwhelming, we can section it off a little bit. So, and then you're giving yourself a smaller space to work in so it doesn't feel quite as overwhelming. So I'm just going to grab, this is just a bit of card, and I'm just going to go along like that. And, oh, my chair's squeaking against my unit. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> What's the weather like today in Inverness? It's a bit colder. We had a nice week last week, but yeah. it's a bit, um, a bit colder now. Um, and then I would grab my flow stamp set, but um, yeah, I can't find that just now. So we'll just stay. Uh, I'll get my husband to look for that whilst uh, I just carry on waffling. Okay, so I'm going to stick my frame. But, so I've kind of created this X thing there, and then I'm, we've got the frame. I'll emphasize that in a minute when I get some sort of stamp with a border. I'll just let him rummage through. Who knows what we'll be stamping with? Just anything, really. <laughs> <laughs> that stamp you've got, got there, it's a very easy stamp to cut out, but it's really effective when you do Absolutely. cut it out. Yeah, it's, it's really fun and there's so much stuff. I think our Dawn, one of the samples there, she's made a, a mirror with it, which is a little bit fun. It's fine, I don't need to find a stamp set. What I would do is that doodle stamp set is I would kind of, um, you know, the one on, that's on part of the flow stamp set, I would just sort of emphasise that corner piece that I have created like that and then what I would do is I would create little dangles so I'm just gonna do that there and then maybe up here but as I said because we've suddenly sectioned it off and our, our main focus is on that little bit there it suddenly maybe doesn't seem quite so overwhelming so say we've got stick our Royce in there we've also got um, lovely lashes Edna we've not used her yet have we Aww. maybe we should use her she's yeah. lovely she's lovely yes yeah. she does is there a moment? <laughs> I've, I've actually got the mirror here uh, that you spoke about. It's it's fa fabulous. Mirror, mirror yes. on the wall. Who is the prettiest of them all? Oh, it says Edna. There you go. <laughs> what a lovely idea. What a different way of using those stamps. Love that. And I like the way that the white has remained around the edge of the stamp. Is this something that you would suggest doing maybe? Um, I tend to, it depends, like, so um, I've got, um, on my stamps here, I've got, I've cut out with white. The reason that I do that is because, um, obviously, some of the bits are a little bit fiddly. Yeah. Um, but, so it's easier to cut it out like that. But if I find that it's, sometimes it works and sometimes it just looks too stark against the page yeah. in which case um i i would just sort of color tint it you know with my brush so like for example i've got yellow on this one yeah i mean she's going up to white now so it's fine but if it was bothering me i would just sort of brush around the edge with the yellow and then it'll blend into the page so we've got these let me see i've got some flowers so i've got some that have been cut out so i'm just gonna grab some of my flowers and this is why it's a good idea to cut up cut up your papers maybe just spend some time stamping coloring and then cutting out because you can bring together a page very very quickly using this technique yeah absolutely as i said this is how i this is how i craft when i'm sort of crafting in real life i'm not normally nearly as organized as that i come across on tv <laughs> 
Um, it's the only aspect of my life of which I am organised. Right, so we've got that there. We've made a bit of a mark there, so we need to cover that up. So we'll bring some embellishments out this side. Oh, so I never lovely. panic. If I make a mistake like that, it's just like, oh, well, that's fine. See, a little cloud there would be perfect, but yeah. I don't have one. I've used them all up. <laughs> but there you go, see? Now yeah. we've covered that. That looks I might just, lovely. I might just be placing all of this rather than sticking it. Can okay. I have a sentiment from somewhere, please? Um, Let's see, how's the time going? Yeah. Yeah, so we've got I've got this sentiment here, happiness blooms from within. But we can see how very quickly and easily we can put a page together. Oh, do you know what? I've just found I've just found the dangle stamp that I was telling him to look for. It was just beside oh. me at the side of the room to him. It was there all the time. I'll just add that in now while I can. Oops. There we go. <laughs> So that's the thing, you can combine your doodles with the stamps as well. So Aww. we'll pop that in. I just, love, I just love all the colours that you've got there. It's it's so inspiring. You know, as we're heading into the spring and the summer, it's lovely to see colour again in the garden. Yes, isn't it just? It's nice. There we go. So we've got a bit more going on there. And then I'm going to grab the biggest block in the world for this. I wouldn't recommend using a block this massive, but there you go. You just use what you have, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you do. do you know what? I've used I've used plates before when I've not had any blocks to stamp with. Yeah, I've done that back CD cases. Yeah. In the good old days when we had CDs. <laughs> yeah. uh, DVDs and CDs. Oh, yeah. That's it, yeah. So we've we've got that. Um, actually, I might just stamp that a few times. You don't have to just stamp it once. I think um, quite often we'll buy text stamps to back, to build a background. But you, if you've got a sentiment stamp, you can get the exact same effect, you know, as a big text stamp. Yeah. But you just repeat stamp it a little bit. You could also use that to create a border as well. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So we'll pop that over there. I like that, just coming off the page. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's quite cool. Right, I might stick some of this down because I think it's going to get a little bit tricky, if not. And then basically from this i would just then now whilst you know, you're just sticking those down I, i'll show a few more okay. samples here in the studio okay. um it's just fantastic batch making cards these would be absolutely perfect look at that you're amazing just the way you are she's so gorgeous and i love the sketchy detail around the edge you can embellish on that if you want to and it could almost be like the feathers coming off our lovely edna she's so pretty and using the papers that we've got for you you can actually then start to embellish or use stamps that you've already got in your set the whole complete set of four is brilliant to get because you can start mixing and matching putting the birds together as friends having them as singular pieces of artwork as well they're great for your journals they're fantastic for your planners they're great for your scrapbooking ideal for colorists as well if you're not a colorist and you're thinking well i love the colors but i'm not quite sure how to add the color just yet then why don't you go for the papers or maybe you've got some papers at home and just stamp directly onto your multicolored papers and then cut them out that way you've got your color already and then you can slowly evolve and go on that journey to become that accomplished colorist um, but just have a go whatever you've got whether you've got pens whether you've got felt tip pens crayons you've got your watercolors give it a go and add color maybe even add a little bit of embossing to your um, projects as well isn't that lovely with the stripes and the different colors of the rainbow how lovely what a fantastic set of stamps but to get hold of them um, I would definitely put them into your basket and check on out now before they do sell out. If you've got any left, of course, you can continue buying after the show. £33.96, saving £10. So you are getting one, as it were, included for nothing. 251184 is your item number. And that gets you your lovely lashes, Edna, Harold, Royston and Flo. The whole gang right there. And that's the only way to get the first two stamps in that full set of £33.96. Uh, and Julia, are you just putting the finishing touches to your project yeah. live on Skype. I am. So I'm just um, adding the frame 
it's turned out a little bit blockier than I would like, so we will... There we go. So I've added the frame. Sometimes if I'm not sure what direction I'm going in next, I will sort of add the frame. Um, I think we're possibly neat. I might bring out some more. As I said, it kind of ended up looking a bit too squared off than I'd imagined. But if we just sort of... I'll just keep embellishing. Yeah. And, and you know what? That, that's a good way... I was going to say, that's a good way to do it, Julia. Instead of using a masking technique, you just cut them out and start sticking them on top of each other. Yeah, absolutely. So Now, we've got about 40 seconds Something left like of the show, yeah, Julia. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for two shows today. Uh, what have you got lined up for the rest of the day? Um, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Relaxing before all the packing tomorrow, I think. <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. Uh, well, thank you to you and your husband for the shows. Thank you so much for your demonstrations, Julia, and we'll see you next time. Okay, see you then. Take bye, care. Bye, bye. Oh, what wonderful demonstrations. What a lovely, lovely show. You can watch it again, of course, on Rewind. Check out your baskets, everyone, and we'll see you guys in a few moments.